Hey there everybody, this is Walter White with Breaking News and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a source image and source video and animate that photo using a single image. A lot of people were excited about this in the last video so I'm making a tutorial about this. Um, in this case we have a source photo over here. Um, Walter Jr. took this for me in the living room. Um, photo of me. We're going to drive the animation on this and the source video. I got this random guy in Albuquerque uh, to record a video. Uh, we want this motion to be put on top of this. Uh, before we begin, though, I just want to say that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, we're going to talk about them more at the end of the video. But uh, to get started, uh, paperwork, uh, two things you need to do. One, go to the link in the description and load at this. Uh, again, it's a lot of code, a lot of nonsense. Uh, I'm going to show you and walk you through every single step here. Uh, you don't need to know how to code. Okay, this is going to be super simple. The second thing is you want to make sure you have a photo and a video. Uh, if you're part of the Patreon, I'm going to uh, put uh, the source video uh, that you can use uh, for yourself. Otherwise, record some for yourself. And notice that I've put this in a one by one aspect ratio, uh, both the image and the video. Uh, this is intentional. I find that it works best this way. And for the video, of course, I recorded it at 16 by 9. Uh, so I put it inside a DaVinci Resolve and put it in an A512 by 512 canvas. Again, you can just go to the Patreon and download the source video if you don't want to do that, or you could record your own. So one by one uh, aspect ratio stuff, link in the description, and we're good to go. So uh, what you're going to open up here is something called the Google Collab. If you haven't seen this before, basically what it is, is it's a runtime environment. Uh, in, in other words, you have a bunch of code that's going to run on Google servers. It's not necessarily going to be on your computer. And all this code is already here. Uh, before we begin, just make sure you go to Runtime, change Runtime Type, and if you have Hardware Accelerator available, uh, change this to GPU. If you also pay for Google Colab, which you don't need to, uh, you can also change this to Premium and High RAM so it goes a bit faster. But uh, if you don't pay, it, it works just a bit slower. So uh, each block here uh, can be run using this play button. So I'm going to allow this to run anyway. It's going to run this code, OK? And basically, we're going to go block by block by block and run each one individually, uh, making sure that after each one is run, we have this check mark. OK? After we do that, we're going to run the second block, and it's going to bring in our thin plate spline lotion model. That's the name of not necessarily this tutorial, but the model, the, uh, the method that we're using for this. After you run these two blocks, make sure in the file browser uh, you have both these folders. If you do not have them, you have not run these, okay? Uh, the reason I point this out is inside of here we have an asset folder, and this is what we're going to be messing with. We have a driving.mp4, uh, which corresponds with that video that we took, uh, so I'm going to I replaced this with the video we took at the source image. I'm going to replace with a picture of me, Walter White. Um, so we're going to mess with this. Uh, meanwhile, we can run the checkpoint box, and I'll direct your attention to the max block. Uh, you can see that in this code, again, you don't need to know what this means. Uh, but in this code, we have a source PNG file path and a driving.mp4. They correspond with these. So we're either going to need to delete these and put our own video and photo and rename them for the same uh, file convention, uh, which is what we're going to do. Or you can import in your own stuff and change the code here to different file paths. But that's a bit more complicated, so I'm not going to do that. Um, as this is happening, what we can do is we can take this driving.mp4 and we can delete the file. Uh, we got to make sure that we do this before running some of the next cells. I think we can run torch, but I'm going to do this anyways. So I'm deleting both of these. I'm right clicking. I'm uploading our source photo and source video. And again, uh, the shorter your video is, uh, the faster it's going to process, also the lower resolution. Uh, just make sure both of these are imported. And for the picture source, rename the file to source.png. If you don't remember, uh, it's going to be down here in the file path. And we got to make sure this matches exactly. So same, uh, same uh, string, same capitalization, same everything. So driving.mp4. Uh, only other thing you might want to change here before we run it is you can change the pixel, uh, which is in some sense the resolution that it's going to use and output at. Um, I'm good with 256, but just so you know, uh, you can make a super high quality, high resolution uh, thin plate uh, models and outputs here. Um, after doing this, uh, you're going to see this try block, and uh, more importantly, you're going to see this example file. Uh, this image and video were the original driving and source that we replaced. So as we run this now, 
Uh, so make sure you've already replaced these. It's going to look at our asset folder and it's going to see, oh, we have a new stuff here. So as it's running this block, you're going to see at the end of it, it's going to import in our source image and the video. Um, and once you make it through this step, you're pretty much good to go. You, you know, you're not going to run into any issues and hopefully uh, you haven't run into any issues so far. Um, okay, so we've run the block. We have our one by one aspect ratio image and video. And what I want to do is I want to generate this. So I'm going to run these uh, checkpoints. Uh, it's going to bring in a bunch of stuff. Doesn't matter if you know what it means or not. Uh, but some of it is going to be useful for replacing the face or driving it. And some of it's going to be useful for like generating the background behind the head and stuff like this. Uh, finally, you can see again, it's loading in our previous thing since we haven't overwritten it. Uh, we want to replace this with our own stuff. So just run the last cell. So it's really as easy as going down these cells and clicking play and knowing when to swap out the files at the right time. Um, this is going to be slower on your computer if you don't have a good GPU or if you're not paying for Google Colab, but it should work. So you can see we're running 219 frames and now it's going to uh, stitch it together into a video. Uh, and you're going to see the final result in a second is going to be the image, the video, and then the driven video. Um, using the photo. So check that out. That's looking really, really good. Again, we could have changed the resolution and all this, um, but that's looking good. Um, if you want to download this, you can, you can just go to here, download, or if you just want the output and not all three of these, you're going to see, or maybe you didn't notice, um, inside the thin plate spine motion model folder, as we did this last block, we got a file called generated.mp4. You want to download that. That's the uh, new file. And when we play that, you can see this is our output at the resolution. So that's kind of the essence of how to do it. Again, you can get more technical. Uh, there's also a full body version, which is what this TED GIF and uh, all of this is for. Uh, we can talk about that later if you're interested. Uh, but other than that, I've been Walter White. Thank you for watching. And Chemistry Class, we have a sponsor for this video. Let's talk about them. So yes, the rumors are true. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. And if you haven't heard about Squarespace, it is the fastest, the best way to make a website. My website, www.cgmatter.com, is made with Squarespace. And it is as simple as just dragging around just blocks inside a template. You don't need to code or any of this. Three features of Squarespace you might be interested in is one, analytics, so you can see who's going to your website, demographic type information. Two, you can directly embed social media feed directly into your website, so stuff like Twitter. Uh, you don't need a redirect. You can just put it directly in your website. And three, as I said, you don't need to code or anything like this. You have automatic image cropping and automatic block. You just place them and you make your website. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, head over to Squarespace and use your free trial to design a website. And when you're ready to go live, you can use my link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.